Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot and this is going to be the weekly spread for the Sun, Moon and Rising Sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, this is going to be for December the 17th through the 23rd of December 2018 for you guys. Alright, Capricorn, Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn? Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. Alright you guys. Give me just a moment, you guys. Let me get the cards laid out for you. Very nice. Very nice, Capricorn. Very nice. All right. Oh, yeah. Very nice. All right. From the bottom of the deck, you guys, we have the Seven of Cups as your overall energy for this week. Um, I will go over this in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and and pull an energy oracle for you as well spirit what do you have for capricorn sun moon and rising sign for the 17th through the 23rd of december 2018 thank you spirit thank you all right you guys all right we have storm warning you guys i will go over this with you in just a moment I'm going to go ahead and pull um, a life purpose card for you as well for extra clarification for this week. So, Spirit, what do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign? Sorry, you guys. Too many cards. For December the 17th through the 23rd, 2018, Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. All right, here we go. Wow, okay. So I believe it was Cancer that received this as well. So you received the um, spiritual teacher. You heal with your classes, sessions, and seminars. So, Capricorn, many of you may be a um, a spiritual, you know, a mentor, teacher, you could, uh, you could very well be like a, a Reiki master or you, you see all these different, you know, uh, spiritual, uh, you know, symbols here that represent, you know, and, and, there, and there are, there's many more, many more as well, you guys, um, you know, you're somebody that helps people heal. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, you, you, this also could be reversed, like I said, with when I was talking to Cancer, when they received this, uh, Capricorn, this can also represent maybe you needing to heal, possibly through classes, or, or, or seeking out a, a mentor or a healer that can help you heal or move past something. Let's go ahead, because I, I mean, I'm looking at your cards here. And I'm, I'm seeing with the, you know, you have the star in your foundation as well. Uh, so that, that's a healing, you know, card as well. So, and also with this uh, storm warning card here uh, with the energy oracle, this can also represent uh, trouble on the horizons, it, strong emotions uh, coming in uh, possibly. Uh, so, this is a really nice reading. I mean, I, I'm your cards are, are I mean are very positive. I'm, I I I really feel like maybe there's opportunities on the table here, or because your overall energy, Capricorn, is the Seven of Cups. Okay, and this is kind of like having. This is like a day, the daydreamer, right? You have so many options that it's hard to to grasp or or pick one. And you can also this can be fantasy as well. So we we've got to make sure that we don't get stuck in that uh, in that mindset of fantasy and illusions, you know. And this is also a, a card of people. That possibly could have addictions of some sort, which can be food, alcohol. It can be anything that's done to, that's not done in moderation. And and when I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of emotion here. 
where maybe arguments could get stirred up. Uh, and this possibly could go along with this energy right here with this, the Seven of Cups this week. Um, I feel like when I'm when I'm looking at this, I, I'm I'm looking at you know this is the situation of the week. You know this is the heart of the matter, Capricorn, and this is beautiful. This is the Three of Cups, right? This is um, a celebration, a time to have fun, celebrating a new birth, possibly. Um, very well could be. Um, when I when I see the Seven of Cups, though, and there's so many options out on the table, it's the overall energy and this storm warning here. Um, you know, somebody could be deciding to come out of a third-party situation, relationship, uh, possibly. And um, you very well could be seeking guidance uh, on that as well, someone to talk to about it. Um, but like I said, this is celebration. Um, uh, you could have made a decision about something um, or someone and now you're celebrating. But what's in your mind? What's going on in your thoughts? What's crowning you is the Nine of Wands. And, you know, when I look at this card, you, you also have the Ten of Wands. And this is the recent past, okay? So Capricorn, you've, you've come out of this cycle of feeling burdened, oppressed, right? So now you're you're still got this nine of wands though going on in your mind, which means you. I really feel like there's some rehashing of a situation. You're you're thinking about the past, uh, maybe what could have been, what if, why, uh, maybe having a hard time letting things go, possibly Capricorn. Um, but this card also reminds me of uh, someone that's gonna persevere no matter what. You know, he's wounded. Um, he's got all those wands, staves, you know, and he's he's still standing there. He can still go, right? Um, I, I really feel like that some of you might be in a mindset here of getting over a situation because we have here what's driving you uh, in your foundation. This is your subconscious. You may not be aware of this yet or the energy of this yet. It's the star, right and th this is your hopes and your dreams um this is also a card of healing like i said um this could be where you decide to reach out um on a new path or, or contact someone to help you be able to heal from uh this situation I, I really do feel that there may have been a third party for many uh many people that I may be, this reading may be for. Now, this doesn't have to be like a, a third party situation where you're in a relationship and they're cheating on you. This can be a third party relationship as you could be, have roommates. Uh, this can be partnerships in a business. Um, and it just, you're ready to, to move on and move forward. It could have been, I see where it was stressful, burdened, and I feel like that you're letting go of it, and that's why there's, you know, also this Three of Cups. I still feel like even though this may be a three-party situation, there's still celebration here of letting something go or making this decision to let something go, to move forward. Because then here, as your new circumstance, Capricorn, we have the, the Princess of Swords, okay? And this is a very uh, intellectual uh, young woman here, right? Um, clear thinking, clarity, right? Look at that, look at that yellow, you know, back behind her head. That's clear thought. That's clear thinking. Um, you're having clarity on a situation. And, and looking at this, you could be dealing also, this could have had to, um, had to do with a, um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius as well. Um, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense this is more of you have clarity now on a situation. The, um, you know, the veil has been, you know, pulled back, lifted, opened for you. And now the sun can shine and you're having, you could just think clearly now on this. And I, I feel like, you know, this could have been, like I said, this, this decision to possibly 
you know, this could be a new path as well. Uh, I will say that since we do have this card here. Um, but like I said, I feel like many of you, you have gained clarity and now you feel like it's time to heal Capricorn and you're ready to heal. So I feel like you're going to seek out a spiritual teacher, someone that's going to help you, a mentor, just listen to you. Uh, someone's going to be able to help you work through this healing process. And, and, and that is, um, that's celebration right there. Just being able to recognize that there needs to be healing done, a decision made of healing and moving forward, right? So Capricorn, this was um, a, a very interesting reading. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and it means so much to me. Um, I send you love and uh, blessings and I I just I will see you next week and I'm I'm serious thank you so much and I will see you next week bye bye